Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your monthly reading for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Cancer. Cancer, please keep in mind that this is your general reading for the month of May 2022. So please pick it up what resonates with you. Please leave the rest for others and I see a lot of new subscribers these days. I welcome each and every one of you on this journey of Delhi Tarot. If you'll say hello to me, I'll be able to see your names also. I'm very active with people who are there with me on this journey since beginning. And I love to see that who all have joined my channel. Okay, now uh, people who are new to this channel, my email ID is mentioned in the description box below. And if you need to connect with me for your personal reading or healing processes for love, money, relationship, career, finances... Uh, you may mark an email to it with your complete name, your time zone is very important for me because I am in a different time zone and your country is also very important for me and please know that all the private personal processes are paid processes. I really appreciate your understanding for this. Now I have also uploaded money spell jar and candle making meditation uh, you know stuff on my channel go and have a look that is really really nice when you start these things from new moon and new moon is just coming on 30th of april just after 10 days or so so you can prepare your stuff and elements before you start doing those meditations okay and if you really like what i do please do like subscribe the channel and put on the notifications now i do have a lot of action in your reading and i'm not sensing to pull any more card for you cancer you have good action coming into your life this particular month and I'm going to pull out your angel first, then I'm going to pull out your weeklies, and then I'm going to clarify with tarot, and in the end I'm going to see your crystal message for the month, which crystal suits you and what is the message related. Your cards are just falling out like anything. Remain positive, cancer people. Okay, let us see what do we have in your weeklies today. Okay, I'm pulling out the weeklies for the month of May. Let us see what do we have. What do we have for weekly sun, moon, and rising cancer? Okay. Oh my goodness, you have two cards for week one five of Michael, you have Knight of Ariel. Week 2, you have the Magician, that's the Major Arcana. Week 3, you have Page of Gabriel. So you have lot many angels this time. You have Archangel Michael, Ariel and Archangel Gabriel to help you this month. And you have 9 of Gabriel. Expect a lot of communication this month. And communication will be very, very important in the month of May. Now let me see what do we get in clarifying and clarifying week one for you. Clarifying week one. I have got sudden strange mix of cards. Clarifying week one for you. Okay, I have got the lovers, that's the major arcana. Choices, options, opportunities, I have got six of swords. I expect travel, but there is communication concerns in your reading this time. You have king of wands in week three. Week four, you have a major arcana death. Expect major changes. There is definitely an ending coming to something. Very important. But this ending is also bringing a lot of opportunities and changes in your life. As I see with this action, there are a lot of actions expected this month. Now, when I say action, this is not about internal movement. This is about external movement. Change in your job, change in your workplace, travel, journey, movement, physical movement all around, change of a role, even if you are in the same company change of your profile, change of location, change of office, change of how you report to one office and how you report to other office, change in lot many things. 
in relationships as well for few of you. So I expect great changes and these changes are going to be not just simple, small, short term changes. These are expected to be stable, long lasting, positive, growing changes in your life for sure. The angels are also telling you to remain positive as much as you can because you have a beautiful tarot reading today. And I'm quickly moving towards that reading. In the week one itself, you have five of Gabriel. Now, one thing is very sure. You have five of Gabriel and five is definitely a number which, which invites difference of opinion, difference of thought process. I'll not say this to be an argument because, you know, when there is a difference of opinion and the thought process is different from people at personal or professional level, we name it as a quarrel all the time. But this is difference of opinion. You also have six of sword, which is also reflecting some communication challenges in your mind. Then you have two Gabriel card also, which is reflecting in your reading that this month communication is the key to the solutions to the resolutions and to make anything possible and to have a desired result and outcome. So in week one, you have five of Michael. It says the situation does not serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. So if you feel the argument, the discussion, the difference of opinion is going to bring something valuable, fruitful on your table, it is not going to happen like that. So it's a clear indication that you have to withdraw yourself from any such uh, occasion or any such situation wherein you have clashes with people in the way you think, in the way you perceive things, because that's your own outlook. You have complete right over your thought process. But when people don't appreciate, it is sensible to be away and be with, be there in the witness mode. You don't have to, uh, you know, you don't have to overpower people with your thought process. It's always more sensible when you are drawing in your own thoughts. And if you feel that something is not getting resonated, you again move on your own path and keep on moving. So that approach is really, really going to help you out because this card is confirming that nothing is going to come out of that particular situation. You also have Knight of Ariel into your first week, which says there is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan being washed over for, for someone kind. Now, it is telling you that if you are looking forward to change and there is a lot of external movement coming into your reading, this is not just going to happen with a thought process. This is not just going to happen mere thinking in your mind. You need to have a detailed written well implemented well thought plan action plan with with all its strength weaknesses what do you think the the strength are for this particular goal or this target you need to work upon on your pointers you need to have a very detailed analysis self introspection of yourself because in first week itself you have the clarifying card as the lover now, when you have lover in any reading, this brings a lot of opportunities. This could be uh, opportunities in relationship because lover definitely say that you will be meeting your soulmate connection and you will have more people in your life if you are looking for love partner. But in many readings, lover says that yes, you are coming up with a lot of career opportunities and the cards here are indicating more towards your professional uh, choices or opportunities coming in more towards that growth so when you are having these kind of opportunities in your life it is always important to be conscious to be aware and to have a well thought plan just don't move ahead accordingly okay now in week one you have the magician it's a wonderful major arcana card and it tells you that you have all the major resources to make these opportunities work for you. And whatever you feel is going to be right for you, whatever you feel is going to be sensible for you, and you would like to go for it, the magician is going to bring all that resources to you. And the moment you're going to touch these opportunities, believe me, you're going to get wonderful results out of it. It says you can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear successful beginning so i told you there are a lot of beginnings because you have a death card which is an ending you have a lovers which is an opportunity you have a magician which says the new opportunity is going to have your magical touch and that is going to transform into much better things 
Now, this class, this card is being clarified by six of sword, and it's a clear, clear uh, message that though you are moving in the external world, what is blocking your mind mentally, emotionally, spiritually, socially? This is something related to a past relationship. This could be a personal or professional also. This could be your equation with your past employer or how you will be leaving a place which you have nurtured for years or how you will uh, leave a relationship which you have nurtured for years with heart, mind and soul. There is something going on in your mind for sure. And even if you wanted to move on, something is pulling you back in terms of mental wellness you have to see that what you have to do with those mental thoughts if you are really sure about movement if you are really sure that yes you are open to explore new things relationship and opportunities both you have to see that whether you want to carry on with these memories or you want to close it for better this is your call because this is a general reading you have to see that what you want to pick up from the reading these are messages for all of you if you are moving forward, it is absolutely your own individual call and no, nobody is right and wrong in, in, you know, if you want to carry on, it's your choice. If you don't want to carry on, it's your choice. It's your own free will and free will is never right or wrong. What you feel good for you, it is always your, your own uh, liberty to take it accordingly. But there is something you're moving forward, but you're still stuck to something at the back in the past. For your own wellness, you need to do self-coaching, self-introspection. Do you think it is good for you? Do you think it is draining your energy? Do you think it is allowing you to move forward freely? Are you not moving or you, something is not pulling you back? You have to see that. If the answers are, you're able to resonate with the answer, you're able to get your answers well and you can decide accordingly. But you need to spend some time with this card for sure. In week three, you have page of Gabriel. Expect the communication to happen. The mail, the emails, the phone call, the messages. It could be from your lover, the ex-lover, and it could be from your past employers, and it could be also from your new employers or the companies you're approaching for work. And it says, follow your passion. You're ready for any challenge. Take calculative risk. Have that boldness and that courage to move on into your life. It says opportunities for excitement and adventure. There is no doubt that this month you will be having a lot of opportunities which is going to give you great growth and exposure. And I'm sensing that it is going to be travel, journey, moving out of your town and country or place or current company for sure. So these things are really, really going to help you out and you are going to get all the relevant messages which are going to make great sense to your changing decision. You have King of Wands, which is clarifying this page. This is definitely a call, a message, or a, something related to your senior position. People love watching you as their leader. People love following you. People see that how you will be performing well in a leadership role. People feel that you deserve that leadership role or that senior position. You are definitely going to get something senior in your work area. That is for sure. This could be a promotion, but this is with more responsibility. This is definitely great improvement or a better job profile or a location. But yes, it is going to bring more and more work to you and more and more responsibilities on your shoulder. Why? Because people feel you deserve it and you're capable of handling it, managing it and doing it for sure. Now in week four, you have nine of Gabriel. And it says, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility environment activism. Now, if you see the old reading is talking about only movement, movement and new opportunities, new possibilities. You need to tell me that what is happening in your life because every card is talking about action. Every card is talking about movement and every card is talking about new opportunities which is coming into your life. You have a wonderful clarifying card. It's a beautiful card which is clarifying death here. And it is telling that something long is coming to an end. It could be any relationship. It could be any job. It could be any B business deal. It could be anything. But it is coming to its natural ending. The time is closing. The karmic 
time associated with that particular relationship thing project job business it is coming to an end naturally and when death appears it tells you that if you are moving forward if you are moving forward it is recommended suggested advised that you close the past chapter because until and unless you don't close the thread will keep on coming again and again and again and again into your future life so that's absolutely a call but expect a major ending and a super powerful beginning it is already the divine time it is destined that you are going to change something in your life and a major change is coming this is not a simple change it's a major change which is going to impact and influence your life up to a great extent into a positive way wonderful reading you have cancer people today now let me see what crystal message do we have today what crystal message do we have today and which crystal is going to suit you the most i'm looking for a flyer but in case i don't get a flyer I'm just going to read and pull like that. Okay. And I have the Maldivite. That's a lovely crystal. You can buy a crystal in a form of a stone, pendant or bracelet. It says unconventionality. Your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It is okay to feel and be different from others. Now this card is also talking about that you are from now will be moving towards your life purpose you don't have to feel guilty about it you don't have to feel that you are taking a different path because you are meant to be different from others and you are meant to move forward on to your life purpose from this moment so whatever changes you are looking at the table whatever actions are coming to you whatever movements are coming into your life it is actually opening the new chapter of your life which is absolutely different and it is allowing you and it is encouraging you to move forward without any guilt and without any major thought process so dear friends that was your lovely reading for the month of may do let me know how you resonated with these reading and i will see you next time very soon be blessed